Well, it's just after 5.30 in the morning and I'm driving through the already busy streets of Sydney. I'm on my way to meet the mighty Shroom. I'm finally gonna meet him and go fishing with him. And I've been really looking forward to this. Just checking my GPS here because uh, I get lost in the city, I tell you. <laughs> it's, um, it's still really dark. I can see that it's windy and that's not good. And there's also been a little bit of rain, so we might not have the best of days for it, but we'll give it a crack. See how we go. Here he is. <laughs> it's good to finally catch up, mate. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna go down here first, eh? Okay. And hopefully today's the day. <laughs> a little bit of breeze there. And there was a few spots of rain on the way, but not too much. I've come to Mossman on Sydney's north side to meet Shroom, and he's taking me to Clifton Gardens Wharf on Chowder Bay, one of the many popular land-based spots around the harbour. But first, we have to descend down a couple of hundred very steep steps. I reckon the climb back up will be interesting. So out there is the best bit? Yes. Lovely. So we're basically going to be staking it out. Yeah. This top half, there were bus stops all the way along here. Really? Uh, two days ago, because I was here. We're hoping to tangle with some kingfish and bonito, and by the time I fill the bucket with seawater for our live baits, <laughs> Shroom's already into it, and he's landed his first yakker or yellowtail of the morning. He certainly doesn't muck around. He's rigged one of his live baiting setups too, and he generously hands it to me so I can get a bait out right away. There we go, perfect. That's practically where I put it as yeah. well. There we go. All right, where do you reckon? Just out there somewhere? Yep. Out here, out there. Yep. You just need a big first person with a bait out. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to get a second one. Bingo, second cast and another yellowtail. Nice. That's a great technique. Yeah, it's so convenient. I didn't have to oh, pull look at that. Or anything. <laughs> and the hook just falls out. Yeah. <laughs> Shroom's using a method called arging. It involves the use of a tiny, lightly weighted soft plastic, ideally sweetened with some scent. I guess I better get rigged up too. I've decided to kick off by throwing a metal bait fish profile or slug. It's an often deadly technique on light to middleweight pelagics. I attach the metal lure to my 10 pound fluorocarbon leader with a half blood knot, passing the line through the eyelet twice, then wrapping the tag five times around the line before going back through both loops. A quick lick to lubricate it, then draw the knot tight and trim the tag. These lures offer an excellent representation of a small bait fish as they track through the water. As a bonus, they cast like a bullet with minimum effort, allowing you to cover lots of water quickly. A fast retrieve with the rod tip held low to the water tends to work best. Oh, and always check your drag. We're not seeing any fish busting up yet, so I'm not overly optimistic, but it's worth a few quick casts, especially while we're still the only ones on the wharf. Can't believe we've got it all to ourselves. Yeah. My theory is if I catch all the yakkers, they'll have no yakkers to eat except ours. Fair enough. Imagine that. <laughs> catch all of them. The yakkers get a bit harder when the sun gets up. Always very hard. This spot maybe not so much from what I've seen. Mm -hmm. Because this spot gets fished nearly 24-7. Yeah. All the way through the night. There's a lot of burling that happens. Yeah, right. I think the yakas are just accustomed to just being in the area. Another one? Yeah. So I'm hoping that if I can get enough of them before the bus stuff start happening, then I don't have to get more bait. It's already in the in the tank and we can just... They're nice little ones too, aren't they? On. Yeah. Yeah, they're not too big, so that's good. No. The kings love that. Draw yeah. The king. We've got quite a few there. Yeah, you don't want to overcrowd it, I guess. He's red hot on this arging caper. I lose it. Yes. Another one. Getting quite a few this morning. Yeah, they're going well. Not Look bad. at that. Not bad size. Ooh. Not bad size. Not too big. Okay, time to rig my second rod and I'm dying to try one of these new Shimano BT baits. 
What a great looking lure. It's a very slow sinking jointed swim bait. Instead of hurling it straight out the front into open water, I start by probing the shadows around the pylons and alongside the jetty itself, all prime habitat. This lure works great at a slow to medium pace with plenty of pauses. It looks deadly to me, I'd eat it. It casts well too, but despite putting a bit of time in, I don't score any strikes this morning. The rising sun is battling to break through the heavy clouds now and Sydney's busy harbour is waking up with heaps of boat traffic. We no longer have the wharf to ourselves either as the keen regulars start to literally roll in. How neat is this setup? This bloke clearly knows what he's doing. Nice. But I bet he didn't come down those stairs. Not all of our competition's two-legged either. The local seal is also showing up to say good morning. Yeah, fish around. It's getting quite busy out here as the morning shift clocks on, but I'm really impressed by how well they all get on and how polite and considerate they are. Crossed lines and cross words are pretty rare. There's plenty of burley going in too, which can't be a bad thing. It's certainly not hurting Shroom's catch rate on those little arging plastics. He's a machine. If you want to learn how to do it, be sure to check out his YouTube channel. There's always plenty to watch on this busy harbour, but maybe I should have been paying a bit more attention to Shroom's live bait outfit because it had definitely attracted some interest and not just from the pigeons. I finally spotted what was going on, but it was already too late. Ooh, I was stitched up big time. Oh. It's gone around something. It's gone around? Yeah. Oh, it might have started, isn't it? Yeah. Damn. It's right in here under the <laughs> under the jetty and it's gone it's around. Right yeah. I don't think the fish is still there. Alright, don't worry. You've got plenty of light bait. Damn. Oh. Maybe come around this side. This yeah. Alright. Alright. Have to break it off, I think. Oh. No. Please leave or not stay on. Uh, don't think so. Okay, leave or not stay on. Oh, it did. There were clearly a few kings coming yeah. through as another angler immediately hooked up on his long, light telescopic outfit. King? He ran under. <gasps> it must be. Oh. I think he's still got it. I think he hasn't wrapped in yet. Uh, I think yeah, it. it's still. Oh, no, no, it's still swimming. It's still there. Unfortunately, he didn't fare any better than I had. Kings don't get their reputation as dirty fighters without good reason. Sadly, another one that got away story. And it wasn't the only one that morning. Soon another light tackle bait fisher hooked up. Oh, King. Nice. Check that rod out. The angler was doing a great job on this fish too, right up until that final power dive towards the encrusted corner pylon. Oh, ouch. Meanwhile, Shroom was trying everything and he soon pinned a fish on a small soft plastic. Oh, oh little snapper. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, and I just ran out of batteries as well. That's all right. Got that other one. Alright, camera just died there. This was powerful, that's why it was so hard to catch. A little pinky. Look at the colours on that. On the squidgy. The side of his face said yes. While Shroom released his little snapper, I was distracted by more action back down the wharf. One thing about jetty fishing is the fact that you'll encounter lots of smaller fish in between the bigger ones. However, I was really impressed by the ethics and behaviour of these keen regulars. They handled every catch that they made with respect and there was never any suggestion of keeping an undersized specimen of any species. They all went straight back into the water. Wharf fishers sometimes get a bad rap in the media, but if this crew was typical, I reckon our fishing's in pretty good hands. Nice one.
Unfortunately, the rain that had been threatening us all morning began to kick in now. It was pretty light at first, but within a few short minutes, <laughs> it was absolutely bucketing down as the heavens opened. These sorts of conditions certainly reveal the hardier anglers in our ranks. Not surprisingly, numbers began to thin out on the walk, even though the fish were obviously still biting. You've got to be keen. Most of us eventually ended up taking refuge under some rotundas in the nearby park as the deluge continued, but Shroom kept right on filming. And how is this for some monsoonal rains? It's just started pouring and uh, Sal and I, we're absolutely drenched. This is the craziest weather. <laughs> oh, my wet weather jacket's not very good. I'm wet on the inside too. <laughs> Same. As fast as it came, the rain stopped and the sun broke through the clouds again. And it was game on for everyone. Necessity is the mother of invention, so I'm using the braid scissors to cut myself some bait. Yep, I'm making a bait out of fresh yellowtail or yakka flesh. I didn't bring any standard hooks and sinkers, so I'm rigging this bait on a light jig head. I've done this plenty of times in the past and it works really well. The big trick is to treat the cut bait like a soft plastic. Take a bit of time rigging it nice and straight and don't cram up the hook. Expose that point and make sure it's clear of any scales or skin. I then cast this rig out where the bulk of the burley from the other anglers had been going before slowly bouncing it along the seabed. Ooh, what have we got here? I just I cut a strip of yellow tile like a soft plastic and just rigged it on a light jig head. Oh, nice brim. All right, we'll try a lift. Oh, probably shouldn't do this, but there we go. <laughs> right, so the, the camera on the deck has died, but I've got the phone going. Oh, uh, but I think I'm rolling. That yeah. drag was actually peeling for a little bit. Yeah, bit. yeah, it's a, lovely. Look how clean and silver he is. That's the fish of the day. <laughs> Day yeah. nice that, that brim there. there yeah. you go, whatever it takes. Gee, he went hard for his size. I thought it was a bit bigger than that. Yeah. Just pinned there in the corner of the jaw on that jig hook. I just put a uh, a triangle of yakka flesh yep. on instead of a plastic and just been bouncing it slowly along the bottom. You can literally see how girthy it is from this angle. Yeah, yeah. We'll put him back, eh? Yep. Off you go, mate. High dive. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Yep. Well, it worked once, so let's cut another bait and rig it up. Fire it out again, get it on the bottom, and wait. There's a bite. Oh, come on. Just playing with it. And I've got, oh, got weight on him and dropped him. I'll just leave it there and KA yeah, has come back. He's come back. Got him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a better fish. Still I'm ready. <laughs> he just picked it up and hear that drag go off. Yeah, he steamed off with it. Hooked himself basically. Oh it's a not a nice fish, brim, and look yeah. at the other one following him. Yeah. We might go the net on yeah, this one, I think. Well done. Well, that was a good netting. <laughs> Swing it up here. And... Yeah. I got it. That's a nice brim. Ah, that is a nice brim. That's a lovely fish. This is better than the last one. Yeah. And how is his mate following him up? Same size. Yeah, they really wanted that. That was exciting. They're liking this fresh yellowtail. You can't beat fresh bait. And you know, if the lures aren't working, 
try the bait. It's a beautiful fish, and it's just pinning, pinning them nicely in the corner of the jaw too. Make sure I'm rolling here. Yep. Well, that's great. <laughs> Water on the lens. Everywhere. Oh yeah. Is... Rain, wind. It's uh, it's all happening. This is why it's so rewarding getting. <laughs> well, we're concentrating on getting the shots. A cheeky seagull has just grabbed place. Shroom's bait hanging from his rod. Watch this mayhem. Oh, oh, seagull, seagull. Oh. <laughs> oh, I hope you were rolling on that. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's a uh, there's a tip for jetty fishing. Don't put your boat. Was it, it was soft plastic? Was it? No, that came out of my pocket. Oh, okay. I think it grabbed my um Bait? my yakka. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so close to losing that rod. Do you want to roll on putting this guy back? I can't believe it, we're still rolling here. <laughs> <laughs> Should have some interesting stuff there. That's it. Alright, we'll put this guy back in. See you, mate. Alright. No, <laughs> you've got to laugh. Shroom was so lucky to save that outfit and not end up in the drink. <laughs> It was nearly time for us to pack up now and the arrival of a scuba diving class helped make the decision easier. But we all need to remember that we share these places with other water users and they have just as much right to use them as we do. Fifty odd years ago I learned how to fish in the salt water by casting my lines from jetties and wharves and they remain among my favourite fishing happy places, especially when I can share them with good people like Shroom. These structures give so many shore based anglers places to fish and as long as we do the right thing and look after them they should continue to do so for generations to come. They're not all as well equipped as this one with its tackle bins and cleaning table but there's no excuse for not cleaning up after ourselves anyway. These days New South Wales DPI Fisheries produce a great online and print publication showcasing Sydney's best land based locations and it includes some vital tips to help ensure we continue being allowed to access them. Make sure you track down a copy and read it. None of it's rocket science, it's mostly about having respect for ourselves, for each other and for the places where we pursue our passionate pastime, including our wonderful public wharves, jetties and piers. Until next time, this is Starlo wishing you tight lines. <laughs>